the second video lesson. It's on a different topic. I'm going to walk a little bit, but uh, I'll be right with you in one spot to stay there. The material for this is uh, partly covered on page 173 of your book. And I'm going to add a couple verbs to my list here. They bear in Korea. What we need to do is get you to be able to conjugate and use ER verbs. It's really pretty simple after you've learned the AR verbs. The problem is that most of the ER verbs in Spanish are irregular in some way. And we, what, we've done, what we've done here is I've given you a list, and there's one in your book also, but it's all mixed in with some other stuff of ER verbs that are regular. So that's what I'm interested in getting you to learn. So the first verb on the list is core to run, C-O-R-R-E-R. -R -E -R. Second one is beber, to drink, comer, to eat, aprender, to learn, vender, to sell, leer, to read, and creer, to believe. Those verbs all conjugate regularly, they don't have any funny quirks about them. Uh, many, many, many of the ER verbs are what they call stem changing verbs. Don't want to get into that, don't even want to discuss it. But those I'm not going to teach today, it's just the regular ones. Simple, simple, simple. Just like the AR verbs. I'm going to use a simple verb like Homer. Now, just like the AR verbs, the first thing you do is subtract the last two letters. You have a root word. And you have to add endings. Now, the ending set is very understandable after you've learned AR verbs. First of all, you still put an O on the O form. So, to eat, comer, I eat, como. That's not tough. All right, the second one, you have your root word. You bring down the principal vowel and add an S. Comes. C-O-M-E-S. The third person, you write the root word. Bring down the principal vowel and you're all set. It looks like the word come, but it's come. He eats. She eats. Okay, to do the we form, you put down the root word, principal vowel, and M-O-S. So whether you're saying tomamos el autobús or comemos el pastel de boda, we take the bus or we're eating wedding cake, comemos. All right, then the next one, you write the root word, bring down the principal vowel, accent it, and add I-S. Like tomais, comes. And then for the they form, you write the root word, bring down the principal vowel, and add an N. And there you are. So that's how you do an ER verb. Now, what I think you should do is probably conjugate vender, creer, and beber to practice conjugating. Just give a box of six without having to look over there and see what you can do. All right, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ER verbs, and you have a, a conjugation model here. So you should be able to uh, to do any ER verb. If you if you did well with the ARs, this should be no problem at all, because all you're doing is putting E's wherever the A's were. The IR verbs don't fiddle with that, because I need to take a separate lesson to explain how they work. You can see them in the book if you look at page uh 173 but don't rush into that just do what i've taught you that's going to be the most important thing uh talking about weird er verbs page 175 has a couple of weirdos in the block there that's why i don't want you to go on and do that i, do, I want you to get the regular ones down pat so stick with the ones on uh, uh
on page 173. Uh, and those are the two things that I want you to have a handle on before we come back to school. Hopefully we'll come back to school. Um, so you, first need, you needed to learn to tell time and then to do ER verbs. Uh, so practice, if you want to practice, you can go to activity 11 on 173 and do questions two, three, that's all. Only two and three use an ER verb. So do questions two and three and I'll get you some exercises that will do more and send them to you on grade length. So thank you for your kind attention again and stay well and hopefully we'll all be back together soon.